In this figure, we have two circles inside the rectangle ABCD. The radius of the large circle is 9 units and the radius of the small one is 4 units. What is the area of the rectangle ABCD? To find the area of the rectangle, we need to know the length AB and the width AD. So let's start with the length AB. First of all, the radius of any circle is always perpendicular to the tangent line at the point of tangency. So then, this angle is a right angle and so is this one. And let this point of tangency be point E and this one F. Now, the distance AE is 9 units because this is the same as the radius of the circle and FB is 4 units. And now we need to find EF. And for this, from the center of the small circle, we will draw a parallel to FE toward the radius of the large circle. Then let this point be X and this one Y. Now we have a rectangle XYFE and in this rectangle XY equals EF. So if we could find XY, then we will know what EF is. Now to find XY, we will connect the centers of the circles and let this point be point Z. And now we have a right triangle XYZ. In this triangle, the hypotenuse is 13 units because it is the sum of the radius of 9 units and the radius of 4 units. Now in the rectangle XYFE, this side is 4 units, then this side is also 4 units. And if the radius is 9 units and XE is 4 units, then XZ will be 5 units. And now in the right triangle XYZ, we know one side and the hypotenuse and we can use the Pythagorean theorem to find the side XY. So we will write that XY equals the square root of the hypotenuse squared, which is 13 squared minus 5 squared. Then 169 minus 25 makes 144 and square root of 144 is 12. So XY equals 12. Then because XY is equal to EF, then EF is also 12. And now to find the lengths AB, we will add 9, 12 and 4 and get 25. Now side AD equals 18 because this is the same as the diameter of the large circle. And now once we have these two sides, to find the area of the rectangle, we just need to multiply them. So the area equals 25 times 18 and this equals 450 square units. So we found the area of the rectangle and now the problem is completed. Thank you for watching.